Hello, and welcome to another episode of DPS TV. Once again, I'm Andrew, and if you spent much time on the DPS website, you've probably seen the building access system. But in case you haven't, here's a really quick review. Uh, the building access system is based on the ECU, or entry control unit. Now, this sits inside your building next to a door that you want to control. And that's wired to a proxy card reader, or a keypad, where you can enter key codes to enter a building, or both. Now, when the building access system was originally designed, it was an accessory to NetGuardian remotes. This made sense because NetGuardian remotes were already common at remote sites where you might want to control doors, so adding an ECU and a keypad and proxy reader just made sense. But now we've heard from a lot of clients that there are sites where you don't need a NetGuardian. There's no network equipment to monitor. Maybe it's an office. Maybe it's a warehouse. You just have several doors that need to be monitored, but you don't necessarily have to monitor any equipment. So having a NetGuardian at those sites doesn't really make sense. That's why we've designed the new ECU LAN. Now that's almost an identical box to the ECU I have in front of me. The only difference is on the bottom, there's a LAN connection instead of a serial connection. So you go straight over LAN back to the central TMON, and you don't need to have an RTU at the site. You can also use the ECU LAN in a truly standalone mode by managing it directly via its web interface. This is useful if you have just a few doors to control and you don't need centralized access control management. Now let's go inside the DPS office buildings, where a LAN ECU has been installed on one of the doors. So here I am in front of a door where the ECU LAN has been installed. As you can see, there's a proxy reader right here, and if I just swipe my proxy card, I can open the door. So here's the hardware of the building access system. If I swipe my key card again, you can see that this electronically actuated door strike is allowing the door to open. Once the couple of seconds runs out and the door is now locked again, you can see that the door strike will not open. To control your doors, you can either use this door strike system or magnetic locks. You know, one of the most exciting things about being at DPS in the last several years has been watching the building access system evolve. As I said, it started out as a NetGuardian accessory for people who already had NetGuardians at a site and wanted to control their doors. But did you know that first version only supported keypads? So when a client came to DPS asking for proximity reader support, that was built. Then there was a third version of the ECU that supported both proximity readers and keypads simultaneously so that permanent employees and people who would only need temporary access like contractors could be given the appropriate method of entering the site. There was also a client who came to DPS with a need for high density door control and that led to the development of the Building Access Controller 32 which is essentially 32 ECUs in a one rack unit package. As you can see, the DPS Building Access System is nothing if not customizable. There are lots of options available now, but if you're thinking that there's something that you need the Building Access System to support that it doesn't right now, call DPS and tell us what it is. You just might influence the next generation of Building Access System hardware. For DPS TV, this is Andrew, signing off.